called the slaughter hose loop. So here's my new to me snowmobile. I had a 2018 852 stroke, and now I've got a 2019 900 turbo four stroke. That's kind of funny because I ended up with the same sled as dad. They're both 19s, both Renegade X package. He's got the black color option and I've got the red. We went out for a ride last week and the suspension was all set up different on mine. The guy that had it before me was a lot heavier, so I've been trying to get that dialed in. I've got it set up the exactly the same as dad's machine, so hopefully it rides better. The whole idea behind getting the 900 turbo was for its pulling capabilities. Dad's got this bumper hitch on his sled and it's a different bumper. It's a heavy duty bumper and it tips down at the back. The stock bumpers, they flare up and they're just not built as heavy. So I managed to find this hitch bumper used on Marketplace, it looks like it's brand new. So I'm gonna get that on and then I will be able to tow the snow coach caboose for kids or I'll be able to tow the groomer. So that'll be nice for the trails around here. That seems to fit like it's supposed to. Now that that bumper's installed, there's something I wanted to point out. So this is Skidoo's heavy duty towing bumper, and it's got one last bolt than the stock bumper or screw right there. There's no threaded insert in the bumper itself for that fastener, so. There's four on each side now, hopefully that holds. I just checked dad's hitch bumper and it only has four bolts per side as well. And there used to be five on the factory one. You could see the holes for it. Today, February 26th. I, have no idea. I think finally going for a ride. Spent the whole afternoon plowing. Finally get to try this thing out. We're going to pack some trails. Her out to the dock blind. It's getting turned around here. Snow's not too bad. Just brought this thing back. These skis got to go. You can't even steer it. It's too heavy. Taking Sarah's sled. Hope she doesn't mind. Back on the two my eyes. <laughs> at the river 
standing here in the dark. Oh, I can hear something. Swan's out there swimming. Guess it hasn't froze across yet. Huh, that's funny. Made her back. This thing rides way nicer. Definitely got to get some different skis. That was fun though. It was nice to finally get out for a ride. January 28th. What is going on in here? Got the groomer in the shop. Doing some uh, reworking of the tongue. We're gonna mount it up a little bit higher and that ripped off the end of last year. So gonna get an extension scabbed on here and hopefully go grooming later. There's only one way to know if it'll work. Great. We're trying this out. There we go, all hooked up. I can't wait to try this out. What a beautiful moonlit night to be out grooming. I have no idea if this is gonna show up or not, but I'm stuck and my phone's dead. So I'm just sitting here waiting for Sarah and Corey to come back to me. I think they turned around I'm sure they'll be back at some point. It is a beautiful night out though. It's got to be right around freezing. Getting the trails packed down. Here I am buried. Didn't quite make the corner. And no studs. Go down to the grass, spin on the leaves. Help arrived, I got out. We'll carry on. This is making a nice trail. packing in pretty good nice snowy Sunday out grooming the trails came to feed the doggies hi Dolly hi guys did you give her a biscuit yeah she didn't eat it yet can you say cookie oh. the groomer is working excellent well as well as it can it's doing a good job though the modifications worked well so far so good sunny day back here at the pond day before winter bash and I haven't even got the trail broken across the pond yet it's cold I'm gonna go check the ice with the chainsaw first and then uh, hopefully it's good and I can just drive across there it's like there's been some deer traffic back here well I don't like that So sure there's probably ice under it, but, huh. I don't feel like going swimming and there's a feed bed on the other side. I think there's enough ice, it's just there's water laying on top of it. Cause we got all this snow. I'll do another test hole over here that's not in the middle of the trail. It felt like the bar was going in like that far before it was going all the way through the ice, so I think I'm probably okay. I'll do a couple more test holes heading out across. 
that's a terrible feeling when you're walking along and then all of a sudden you start sinking but it's just a little bit of water on top of the ice like i pretty well have to bury the bar to get the tip of it to go through the bottom of the ice So that's a beaver feed bed right there. Like that's the house at the base of that big ash. And then it's all sunk down there, but I won't be driving over there. This is where the trail was last year and it was fine. I'm down at the opposite end of the pond now. This is where the trail kind of crosses through the marsh. Kind of at the end of the pond where it trickles out. We just cut this trail out yesterday. When we got that trail cut, I made a run through here on Sarah's sled, but this part was open, so I didn't groom it. She's a frosty one this morning. Whoa. Go see what the temperature is in the shop. Two. That's the coldest it's been in here yet. But that's the coldest it's been outside yet. So I'm thinking this insulation project was a success. Like last year, that whole corner would have been frost. Groomer's not quite thought out. Get the fire going, get her warmed up in here. It's just something about a frosty morning. What are you guys doing? Hot dogs. A little Bravo body work. Ratchet strap and a tree. We got the Bondo. <laughs> Hope somebody brought tram clad. Yeah. I called you Skitter earlier on your cutting wood. Oh, you were dragging the one. Get her, Derek. 250 Club. What tunnel's this off, Ike? What's that? 92 Articat Jag. 92 Articat Jag with the citation skid. The original one was rotten, so Isaac grafted that one onto there. Partying in the barn, oh yeah. Don't worry, you got Papa Chow. <laughs> Just stopped to throw a bit more wood in. Some of that stuff we cut the other day. Fire's going good, trails are good. It was open up here the other day. We'll see if it's froze now. Thank mm -hmm. you. 